welcome back mathematicians. Now we are going to learn how to evaluate expressions when they tell us, or when we're told what the variable equals. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a substitution. And just like when you substitute in a sports team, you're replacing one athlete for the other on the court. So that's what we're doing. We're replacing one symbol for another symbol. So I'm gonna write that word up here at the top, substitution. And everything that we do in this class is going to fall back to this substitution <clears throat> from here on out. So our first problem tells us that x equals 2. So we need to evaluate s plus 9 when s equals 2. So we're going to make that substitution. s is playing the game. He's really tired. We've got to substitute 2 in for s. So s comes on the bench, and now we have 2 in the game with his other teammates plus nine. Now that we know what two is, we can simplify this expression. Two plus nine would be 11. All right, <clears throat> so that would be our final answer. Now we need to evaluate s plus nine when s equals four. So again, S is playing really hard, it's tired, we're gonna swap four in for S. So now we have four along with the rest of his teammates. Now that we have a number in for S, we can simplify. Four plus nine would be 13. And that would be our answer. All right, let's do it again. S equals negative six. Don't let that negative freak you out. We're still substituting in what s equals for s. So s happens to equal a negative value. So we're gonna substitute negative six in with his teammates plus nine. Now that we know what s is, we can simplify this. So negative six plus nine would be a positive three. And that's gonna be our final answer. All right, for our last one, s equals negative 12. So we're going to substitute negative 12 in for s. So now negative 12 is playing with the teammates plus 9. We can see what their results are going to be by taking negative 12 plus 9, which would give us negative 3. All right, let's do another example. So we're gonna evaluate star divided by two when star equals different numbers. So it works the same with symbols or with letters. We're going to make a substitution for star and simplify. So when star equals 10, we have 10 divided by two, and we're gonna simplify that. 10 divided by two would simplify to five. And that's gonna be our final answer. Well, what about when star is negative 12, or sorry, negative 20? We're gonna substitute negative 20 in for star, and we're still dividing by two. Notice that the only thing that's changing is the value of star. So when we take negative 20 divided by two, we get negative 10. And that's gonna be our final answer. But what about if star is negative four? What do we get when that happens? So we take negative four divided by two. And again, notice the only thing that's changing is our star value. Negative four divided by two would give us a negative two result. And last, what if star is eight? We're gonna take eight divided by two and again, notice that the only thing that changed was our star value. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and that's going to be our final answer. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up in the chat to tell me you watched this. I'm going to attempt to draw it. Whoa, he has a crazy, crazy thumb. There we go. Oh yeah, check that out. Go drop a thumbs up in the chat. Let me know you watch this video. We're going to be doing a couple more problems in the next one, so I encourage you to watch the next one.